the standard that was in place and to the best of our knowledge was closely followed by our counterterrorism professionals was to adhere to this near certainty standard uh, and that near certainty standard applied to two things the first is near certainty that this was an al-qaeda compound that was used by al-qaeda leaders that turned out to be true that assessment did turn out to be correct the other near certainty uh, assessment was that no civilians would be harmed if this operation were carried out uh, unfortunately uh, that was not correct uh, and the operation led to this tragic unintended consequence there's one other element of the near certainty standard that applied to the first operation the one that resulted in the death of of Ahmed Farouk uh, and that is that there were were hundreds of hours of surveillance against that particular al-Qaeda compound. And this surveillance included near continuous surveillance uh, in the days leading up to the operation. Uh, and that is what uh, led to the near certain, near certain assessment that it was an al-Qaeda compound frequented by an al-Qaeda leader uh, and did not um, include or, or that civilians would not be included in an operation against the compound. Obviously, the latter assessment was incorrect.